Hello, Magdalena students! Welcome to our Magdalena tutorial. Ngayong araw, pag-aaralan natin kung paano i-convert ang decimals to fractions. Simulan natin sa pag-review ng kinds of decimals. Una, meron tayong tinatawag na terminating decimals. So, pag sinabi nating terminating decimal, it has a finite number of digits after the decimal point. Halimbawa, 0.35, negative 2.5, at 0.1319. Sa unang example, meron lang tayong dalawang digits after the decimal point. Sa pangalawang example, meron tayong isang digit after the decimal point. At sa pangatlong example, meron tayong apat na digits after the decimal point. The second kind, we have the non-terminating repeating decimal. It has a finite number of digits with repeating. For example, 0 0.222 with an ellipsis. 3.5 with a bar on top of the digit 5 and negative 5.132 with a bar on top of the digits 3 and 2. Sa ating mga examples, meron tayong infinite number of digits. Sa first example, meron tayong ellipsis na makikita sa right side ng ating last digit. Ibig sabihin, ang digits niya ay infinite. Sa second example naman, kapag merong bar sa isang digit after the decimal point, ibig sabihin, ang digit na yun ay nauulit ng walang katapusan. Sa pangatlong example, ganun din, ang digits na 3, 2 ay nauulit ng walang katapusan. In the last kind of decimal, we have non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. It has also an infinite number of digits, but without repeating. For example, wala tayong digits na naulit na nagpo-form ng pattern. So, these kinds of decimals can be categorized into two sets of numbers. The first one, terminating decimals and non-terminating repeating decimals are rational numbers. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-convert into fraction of the form A all over B. And in the last type of decimals, these are considered irrational numbers. We cannot transform them into fraction form of the form A all over B. So, let's have first how to convert terminating decimal to fraction. In terminating decimals, these are actually special fractions that have denominator of 10, 100, 1000, and so on. Ibig sabihin, ang denominators ng terminating decimal ay powers of 10. Para malaman kung anong power of 10 ang gagamitin nating denominator, bibilangin lang natin ang digits after the decimal point. For example, Express 0 0.8 as a fraction. So, ang gagawin natin, kukopyahin lang natin ang digit na 8 after the decimal point. At since meron tayong isang digit lamang, ang kanyang denominator ay 10. So, pwede na natin i-convert ito in its simplest form. We can divide it by 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. The simplest form for this one is 4 fifths. And that's it. 0 0.8 is equal to the fraction 4 fifths. Let's proceed now to our second example. Express negative 3.17 as a fraction. So, this is an example of a mixed decimal. 
yung fraction form nito ay isa ding mixed fraction. So, isa-separate lang natin yung integer part, which is negative 3. Then, we copy 17. And since meron tayong dalawang digits after the decimal point, our denominator should be 100. And since the fraction part is already in lowest term, therefore, this is already the fraction form of our given decimal. Negative 3.17 is equal to negative 3 and 17 all over 100. Let's have the third example. Express 5.875 as a fraction. So same as what we did in the second example. The 5 here becomes the whole number part. And we copy 875. And since meron tayong tatlong digits after the decimal point, our denominator should be equal to 1,000. Pwede pa natin siyang ilawis term, ang fraction part. We can divide it by 125. So this would be equal to 5 and 875 divided by 125. That is equal to 7. All over, 1,000 divided by 125 is equal to 8. So therefore, 5.875 is equal to 5 and 7, 8 in fraction form. What about if we convert non-terminating Repeating decimal to fraction. So let's do this simple trick. For non terminating and repeating decimals, repeating can be expressed as a fraction with denominator of 9, 99, or 999, and so on. Let's have an example. Express 0 0.3 with a bar on top of the digit 3 as a fraction. Notice that in our given, our repeatant is 3. So we just copy 3. And since we only have one digit as repeatant, our denominator should be only 9. And 3 over 9, we can still simplify this one, dividing it by 3 in the numerator and denominator. We have one third. Therefore, the non-terminating repeating decimal given is equal to one third. For our next example, express negative 2.21 with a bar on the digits 2 and 1 as a fraction. Again, this is an example of a non-terminating repeating decimals with our repeating the digits 2 and 1. So, the negative 2 here serves as the whole number part. So, we copy it separately. For the repeating, which is 21, we copy it. And since we have two digits as repeating, the denominator should be equal to 99. We now get its lowest term. We divide the numerator and the denominator of the fraction part by 3. So this would be equal to negative 2. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 99 divided by 3 is 33. Therefore, the given decimal, negative 2.21, with a bar on top, of 2 and 1 is equal to negative 2 and 7 over 33. Let's have the next example. Again, we have a whole number part. So we copy 4. Then the repeatant has now 3 digits. So we copy. 102 in the numerator 
and since it has already three digits as repeated, our denominator should be equal to 999. We may divide the fraction part by 3 in the numerator and by 3 also in the denominator. So this would be equal to 4 and 102 divided by 3, that is equal to 34. And 999 divided by 3, that is equal to 333. Therefore, 4.102 with a bar on the digits 102 is equal to 4 and 34 by over 333. For our seventh example, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong dalawang digits after the decimal point, pero isa lamang dito ang ating repeated, which is the digit 3. So ang gagawin natin, kopyahin lang natin ang lahat ng digits after the decimal point. Then, isasubtract natin ang digit na hindi repeated. So, we subtract 1. Then, all over. Since meron tayong isang digit na repeated, maglagay tayo ng isang 9 sa ating denominator. At since meron tayong isang digit na hindi repeated, maglagay din tayo ng isang 0 sa denominator. So, ibig sabihin, bibilangin lang natin ang repeated na digits at yun ang magdidikta sa atin kung ilang 9 ang ilalagay natin sa denominator. At kung ilan naman ang non-repeating digits, ganun din kadami ang 0 na ilalagay natin sa denominator after the digit 9. So, we simplify this one as 12 all over 90. And we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 6. This would be equal to all over 15. Therefore, 0 0.13 with a bar on top of 3 is equal to the fraction 2 all over 15. At yan na nga, nagtatapos ang ating math tutorial. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. Salamat po sa pakikinig.